Here we are, uh, working on, almost done with, the wiring diagram for the Honda K24 and uh, to connect that to the Speedwino ECU. So this is my wiring diagram that I'm putting together. Um, this is sort of my roadmap of how I'm going to get everything to work in the car. Uh, the car is a 2003 Honda Insight that I'm putting a K24 in. So, uh, what I've got going on here is I have my wiring diagram I'm putting together. Here's the remnants of the wiring from the Honda Insight. Here's the Accord wiring harness, which I put painter's tape on plugs that just to make sure I keep them straight. Uh, in a previous video, I showed my cut-up uh, harness that I've spliced back together and taped up. Uh, this is sort of the last, uh, the end of the harness, and this this end would go connect to the ECU if it was in an Accord. Well, it's not in an Accord, it's going to go in Insight, so I need to take basically the stock harness and connect that all these wires in the correct location. There's maybe 50 wires here in the correct location so that I can uh, run the engine in the in the insight. So you can see here I've got you know, all the wires, pretty much all of the wires uh, labeled. So that's that helped me to, in addition to the factory wiring diagram that helped me to put together this wiring diagram for the car. So what I've got here is I'll kind of explain what's going on. So you probably can't see the details but that's okay. So what I did here is I've got a line right here for the firewall seal. So everything on this side of the line is connected to the engine, right? That's, that's this harness here connected to the engine. And then everything between this line, which is the firewall, and right here is the wiring, this pigtail here. This wiring here is basically what it is. This is the firewall seal. And then, whoops, whoops, whoops. And I've got the ECU connectors B and A. We've got B and A here. So I've got that sorted out for the most part. And then I've made a, so that gets me from the engine, engine over here, through the firewall. And this is basically the passenger footwell of the car, more or less. To these ECU connectors that plug in to the Speedrino here. And then I need uh, a diagram or a table or something to connect between, the back side, between these pins here, which are the stickouts of the connectors that I plugged into, to, you know, they'll be soldered onto here, and then they'll run up, the small wires will run up to this header here. So I've got 40 pins here, that I need to connect over to these connectors. So how do you know where, what to connect where? Well, you use my table here. So here I've got Speedwino pins, 1 through 40 plus power and ground, and then I've got the connector pins, so there's A13 A and 14, that would be A13 and 14 here, so I just got to find those, run a wire from there, to the appropriate pin here, which would be so 13 and 14 on the connector pin connects to 1 and 2 on the Speedwino board here. So that's how I'm planning to do it. Um, once you identify what all of the possible connections are, 
you know, all of, he all of here are the sensors. Uh, a lot of the outputs are over here, are down in the bottom. So you got manifold pressure, throttle position, uh, sensor, intake air temp, engine coolant temp, uh, idle air control, crank position, intake cam position, exhaust cam position, EGR, I'm not planning to wire those up, but you know they do exist, so I could show them just going to nowhere here. Um, we got ignition, the four coils, we got a knock sensor, which is not going to be connected to anything. You can see it's just run over here, it's not connected. Uh, and then I've got the injector, four injectors, vehicle speed sensor, uh, VTEC solenoid, or VTC solenoid. I'm not running VTC, I've got it mechanically locked. So that that's going to get wired in, but I've got it, I'm not going to have it connected to the ECU. I've got the VTEC uh, solenoid, was originally uh, by the by the original ECU was energized by uh, giving it 12 volts so this side was grounded let me show this closer so this side was grounded so I'm good planning to cut that and uh, splice it into one of these wires going back to that was coming off the VTEC pressure switch because I don't really care about that uh, I'll splice it back to a connection up here so it'll get 12 volts Oops, there and then it'll run to the ECU which will ground it and that way I'll be able to turn VTEC on and off. Uh, what else do I have here? I've got a vehicle speed sensor tack, engine coolant temp, basically scaler so that I can output that to the to the dash and I use it the original Insight dash. I'm running a wide, I'm going to run a wideband O2 sensor, so this shows the connections for that. This job here. Uh, so this is the tack and coolant temp and speed converter box. It's just an Arduino. Uh, I printed this box off a, a guy. Facebook posted this a while back. Uh, I'm supposed to use a bigger Arduino, but this one will work. It's only three inputs and three outputs, probably. Um, so yeah, that's kind of an overview of what I'm doing and where I'm at. Next up is to wire it up in the car.